Alexis Vance is live to show us cranial osteopathy. Yeah. Cranial osteopathy. Have you ever heard of this? I've never heard of this before, Alexis. Well, I'm going to let you know all about it. And I have a little model here with me, a little baby. Look at how cute she is. Summer's five weeks old and proud mama Shannon's holding her this morning. And uh, they're going to show us how this works. I'm with Dr. Galeas. He's at the uh, Midwestern University Clinic out here in the West Valley. And this really helps newborns with what? Oftentimes, newborns have issues like colic, they have trouble sleeping at night, sometimes they can't latch onto the breast, other times they have diarrhea or reflux. And by getting a basic diagnosis and treatment here, it can help them with a lot of these problems. All right, so we're gonna have our uh, little baby lay down and you're gonna kind of show us what you do because there's no medicine, needles, nothing like that. You're doing everything with your hands. That's exactly right. I'm basically using my, my hands to diagnose. And in this particular position, I'm looking at the, the base of her skull and her neck where a lot of the cranial nerves come down. Just fine tune adjustments of these areas can help with all of those areas that I talk to, whether they're colicky, whether they're having difficulty latching on, whether they're throwing up. And or... then how often do you usually see them? Well, once I see them for the first time, I get a sense of how they're doing, how they recovered from the birth process. And oftentimes from the mother as well, I'll ask her how, how the baby's doing, because they can't talk yet. So I trust my hands to, to tell me what's going on, and I try to find a way to balance their tissues. And if I find things that are a little bit um, strained, then I might have them come back in a couple of weeks. And this doesn't hurt the baby at all, obviously, or the baby would be no, crying. No, no, it's a very, as you can see, it's a very gentle technique. It's all there, or do you ever move down to the torso or anything? I do, I move throughout the whole body. Usually I do start at the feet. But with Summer, we had already done a little bit of work, so I'm back up to the head now. So what type of doctor are you? Because, like you said, this is all natural with your hands. What a specialty are you? It's actually called neuromusculoskeletal medicine. Uh-huh. Um, it's a specialty of osteopathic medicine where we use our hands to diagnose and treat in addition to using medicines and procedures to help people with overall body care. But you would only see a baby here at the clinic if they had a problem. You don't typically just see every single baby that comes here, only if the mother or father has a complaint or a concern. That is true, but oftentimes people will bring their babies just for me to check just for me to check to see how they're doing after they're, they're born or maybe there's a difficult birth. Well, Dr. Galeas, thank you so much. Summer was a good model up until the end, and then she's like, I'm over this, Dr. Galeas, stop touching me. So thank you so much. It's so interesting, though, and you, and you say besides babies, you can help adults, pregnant women, mm -hmm. all types of people. This isn't just for babies. Yeah, we work with our hands to help people from cradle to grave with whatever ailment is affecting them. Very interesting. Well, it's absolutely worth a try. You take insurance. We'll put your information on our website. So pretty cool, you guys, because I know as a new parent, it can be hard if the baby, you know, is up all night or crying all the time. And, and if this helps, why not try it? It would help, it would help me if I were up all night. Eh? Right. <laughs> he works on adults, too. Still. He's a little massage every Senior now. citizens, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She got that in. Uh, thanks, Alexis.